Hello and welcome. We're from the AUT Science team and today we're going to talk all about love and attraction. It's a mysterious and beautiful experience, but there's a lot more going on than you might think when we're attracted to someone. I'm Professor Steve Pointing. And I'm Dr. Pani Father. And together we're going to explain the science of love. As far as we can tell, love is universal. A study of over 160 societies around the world found that not a single society didn't express genuine romantic love. But how does it all start? It takes only 90 seconds for us to be attracted to someone of the same yeah. or the opposite Hi. sex. Nice to meet you. You too. And initially, how someone looks is one of the most important factors. Society, it's more common for women to adorn and beautify themselves in order to attract partners. Many women wear makeup and do their hair in order to enhance their desirability, whereas men are not judged nearly as critically on their appearance. Interestingly, in most other animals like peacocks, ducks and many tropical fish, it's the males who are prettier or more colourful in order to attract mates. Um, so I, I think like my favourite fruit would be mandarins. Our sexual desire and feelings it's also involve I mean, chemicals I called hormones. And I, I bloat easy. The main sexual hormone for men is testosterone, and for women, it is estrogen. Both can be subconsciously detected via smell. Studies have found that men with higher levels of testosterone were consistently found to be more attractive. And the same goes for women with high estrogen levels, regardless of physical appearance. What's that smell? Oh, that's my estrogen. Perfumes and colognes are designed to mask our natural smell or enhance it. Some are marketed as containing pheromones, a sex hormone found in bees and other insects. Oh, what is this? But there's actually no evidence that pheromones have any attractive effect on humans. Although we often hear that opposites attract, it's more likely that birds of a feather flock together. Research indicates that we are much more likely to be attracted to people who are similar to us, familiar to us, and close in proximity. And while physical attraction plays a large role in the initial stages of attraction, personality becomes far more important as the relationship progresses. When you're falling in love, there are three major chemicals affecting your brain. Dopamine, serotonin and adrenaline. Together, these create the emotional roller coaster of love that can leave us feeling euphoric, irrational and even addicted. This is hardly surprising given that being in love activates the same region of the brain as many addictive substances, like chocolate. all sorts of physical and psychological changes are triggered inside of us. It makes our lips and cheeks flush with extra blood flow, our heart rate increases, pupils dilate, and dopamine is released. This activates the pleasure and reward systems in our brains. Is someone gonna pay me for the ride? <laughs> Humans are one of the only species that has sex for fun and not just for procreation. During sex, a brain hormone called oxytocin is released. 
This is known as the cuddle hormone because it encourages feelings of intimacy and bonding between two people. After sex, another hormone, vasopressin, is released, and this promotes long-term feelings of commitment and dedication. Vasopressin has also been found in prairie voles. Like us, they often have single partners and will fight off any other prairie voles that try to steal their significant other away. We've talked about the chemical, biological, and cultural reasoning behind love. And when you think about it, it's amazing how all these factors come together in such specific ways and just the right amounts to give you that warm, fuzzy feeling. And even though science can explain some aspects of love, it will always be a bit of a mystery. But that's okay. It's an elusive but powerful thing and what makes us uniquely human. And so from the science team at AUT, Thanks for watching and happy loving everyone.